What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here for breakfast. I had a bagel and coffee. It was very tasty. I don't know what I'm gonna have for lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna have for dinner. Actually, I do know. I'm having stew for dinner. Cause, you know, we always cook it in the, uh... Slow cooker. And so it's like being cooked right now and then we'll have it in like more than, uh, eight hours. I think actually about eight hours. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging out. I might have a Monero donation link on the bottom of my channel description. Uh, cause you know, I have it on my website. Uh, and I just think it's good to get the idea that people would be able to give me money if they wanted to. Uh, of course, like, why would you want to? I, I would just spend it on like video games, but like, you know, it's not like a fun thing to do at some point. Uh, Oh, I've been scanning these, uh, basically, we have these old Disney VHS tapes, and in them are, like, these really old ads and stuff for old Disney stuff, like, here. This is from, like, the 1970s, and so, uh, I just think that's pretty interesting. I've been scanning them. Oh, is this something for, what is this for? Kodak film. Oh my god! Save 75 cents, you guys, on, on Kodak film. That's crazy. I think that was in the Pocahontas VHS. Alright. Uh, see ya, dude. I'm gonna scan them some more now. Alright, goodbye. Ah, there was something- Oh! I saw this video on Twitter the other day. And it was this video, it, it was this, like, TikTok video of somebody, like, at a supercharger in their Tesla. And their Tesla was updating and they couldn't drive away because it just started updating. And, uh, you know, I'm personally a big fan of Tesla cars. I've never been inside of a Tesla car. But when I see them outside on the road, they're crazy looking. They're like, they're like magic cars from the future. And also, uh... I'm really interested in them because they are just like computers on wheels. It's crazy. I don't know. Like, especially the autopilot stuff that's coming out, the full self-driving betas. It's insane, the stuff they're doing. And so, you know, whenever I see some, uh, it's going to sound weird. Whenever I see some anti-Tesla sentiment online, uh, you know, I, I kind of have an inherent reaction like, er, you know, man. Eh. But, uh, it makes, you know, this kind of stuff makes me realize, uh, you know, Teslas aren't all good. Uh, they still have fan finish issues, they have some quality control issues, their interior's not very good. Um, and you know, they gotta look into that. And they just, they just love using glossy black, glossy plastic black in their cars just everywhere they can. And, uh, they, they just refuse to remove it, so. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't know, I love me some Tesla YouTube content, however, uh, they should probably fix that, um, updating thing. Like, imagine you're, somebody in the reply said this. Like, imagine, like, somebody in your family's having an emergency or something. Like, somebody's dying, and you're about to drive over, but then your car's updating, <laughs> right? Um, so maybe they should make it so then it's, like, completely manual, the updating process. Because, um, I don't know. Automatic updates are kind of freaky. Um, however, as far as I know, it doesn't notify you on your phone when you're about to have an update, and so I think you can turn that off. So, uh, I'm pretty sure the person in the video just wasn't paying attention to their phone, uh, because I cannot possibly imagine you just be at a supercharger. Like, a supercharger, especially, those charge quick. And, uh, then your car just starts updating. That, either there's something wrong with the car, or the person just wasn't paying attention. Uh, so, you know, still, if it just started updating at a supercharger, sure. <laughs> I mean, you have a right to be angry about that. And I hope they fix that. Alright, see ya, dude.